started testing or going down the path of CBD, was it something that was just immediately instant for both of you in terms of how you felt or did it take some yeah, time? Pretty, yes and no, I, I would say. It's a very, really common misconception of CBD. Like you take it and all of a sudden, like you have, you know, aha moment in your life. And I'd say over the course of like a couple of weeks, it was, you know, Matt as an example is, hey, my knees and ankles are feeling better when we've been running so much. For me, I, Matt mentioned I had chronic migraines and it became like, hey, I used to get these every once a month. It's been, a, it's been three months now and I haven't had one. So it was, it was more something like that. I mean, the way CBD works, which we can get into probably in a subsequent part of the conversation. No, to Matt's point, it's, it's very closely related to its, its cousin THC, the both cannabinoids, but works very differently. So yes and no, it's kind of a tough answer, but both, yeah. Got it. Yeah. And I think that's important because I think there are people who think, oh, let me put this in my cocktail and I'm supposed to feel something immediately. Exactly. Uh, there's a lot of places here in LA that they'll give you a couple drops of the oil in a cocktail. And I'm like, what's the point of that? I'm not sure what you're trying to achieve. Yeah, right. there, yeah. It's a good marketing lot of our, strategy. It is. It is. Yeah. We, our, our, a lot of our thesis from the beginning was and like, what kind of informative branding and us getting to market was, this is just so misunderstood. There's not an opportunity for a brand to create a really transparent, beautiful brand and also to educate people. And it just wasn't happening. We think this is going to be like a, you know, a collagen protein or, you know, yeah. a lifestyle something that people take. And, you know, you don't take your collagen protein and then stare at your fingernails to see how quickly they grow. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's, so it's true. I think the hard part of this too is like, so you see an opportunity, you realize there's a lot of, let's call it bad products or bad marketing in the space. You're thinking maybe we can do something different at the same time. The barriers to entry in this market are zero in some ways, right? It's like anyone can do it. And so Always. that poses, oh, right. <laughs> And then we have science, which plays an interesting role. Let's jump into what, kind of what we were just talking about, right? So give people a sense of what it does, why it works, what is the science, why does it take, I, I think it takes different for different people. I've also heard that, especially, yeah. I guess there are some combinations where some people do use THC and some people will feel that effect. But if you remove the THC, some people don't feel that. And I just want to jump into the science. I know a little bit, obviously not nearly as much as you guys, but would love to jump into Obviously, you guys have done some research. So if you get deep fast, so I guess I'll, I'll start and yeah, let's uh, do it. I'll start not deep and we, I'll trivialize it and we can kind of go from there. Where do we want to start? So cannabis, right? Hemp and marijuana are both part of the plant family of cannabis. Our CBD is extracted from the leaves and flowers of the hemp plant. The way CBD works, and again, for any of the science buffs out there, I'm sure I'll get some messages, but this is <laughs> not exactly how it works and I'm trivializing it. But think of your endocannabinoid system, which is um, a system in our body that it's pretty interesting. We didn't find, we didn't even know as humans that we had this in us until like the late nineties. And it's think of that. A, right? Cannabinoid that? A, I think. Cannabinoid yeah. A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. think of that system, like almost regulating everything going on in your body. Uh, I, I use to trivialize it. I call it like the brain body connection, if you will. And mm -hmm. over time, when we're stressed out, we've had tough workouts, whatever's going on in our life, that connection gets frayed and broken. And there's a lot of science now that's pointing to the fact that like, when that connection is messed up and those receptors aren't firing the way that they're supposed to, it leads to a lot of chronic issues, you know, uh, inflammation, stress, anxiety, insomnia. And what's really unique about CBD and what's been so profound about it is we've seen that high quality CBD has the exact same receptors in it that we have in our bodies. So think of them almost like these little spark plugs that are reigniting this broken system within your body and putting everything back together. The analogy we always use is think of it almost like, um, premium engine oil that you take throughout your day to bring your body back into balance. And that's why there's so many profound issues and why it's such a transformative, to Matt's point, you know, it could be the biggest wellness supplement of our decade or even of our lives. It's helping people with stress and anxiety, with chronic inflammation, it's helping them sleep deeper. It's all these things. So at the same time, when you're early on in an emerging market, you get, oh, this is snake oil, but really it's just, it's bringing your body back into balance into the state of mind it should be. So that was like, yeah. Part science, part storytelling, but that's, that's like the, I mean, we can get a little bit deeper if you'd like. I mean, the, the thing I've, I saw, so it's funny, we have a lot of experts on the podcast and somehow I, I've managed to learn from all of them and then regurgitate it. But the, the best example I saw, it was, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was part of the research paper in the 90s. And it was, the example was, was being given that today, if you, if you think about your body, just like a set of like light strings or something, right? And if this light string over on this, in this quadrant, call it light string six is out, then we create a medicine. So a medical company comes and they say, oh, you look depressed. Okay, here's a little depressive, right? So let's click, light six is for depression. Here's a, a, a drug essentially that, that makes you, kind of numbs that area. But in that there's a bunch of symptoms. And so light four or five and eight aren't feeling as good anymore because 
the thing that you're trying to do to solve light, light six is, is problematic. And then let's say light one is now out. So now I'm taking another drug. And basically my, what ends up happening is my whole system, right? And so my whole brain, my whole human beingness is, is being, is off because I'm treating one thing, but I'm getting all these side effects. And effectively what CBD does, according to the research paper, is it, it kind of helps the system, but it completely heals it without any of these negative symptoms. And so today the market exists where problem A, take drug A, create problem C, D, E, F, G. And now by the time, you know, now I have like a supplement pack of multi, not vitamins, drugs, mm-hmm. just to get through the day. And it seems like CBD is, right, is that accurate? That's, well, that's kind of the way it, it's, yeah, okay. It's a cool analogy. Yeah, it's just, you know, think of your ECS as just like, it's responsible for keeping everything in balance and working to heal different, you know, whether it's inflammation, digestion, stress, sleep, all these different things. And so CBD helps your ECS, which is then helping like what you were describing, this whole web of stuff. So that's why it can be, I don't want to call it like a fix-all or a cure-all, but that's why it helps with such a menu of things or why you see so many benefits associated with it because it's it's impacting something that is then impacting such a great, like your operating system in a way. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.